Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily Day. This is Heavenly Host Division Weekly. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, beloved, sound, and protected. What's happening at this point in time? Beloved, for no reason should you feel bad because of your mistakes. I know it's so hard to see your mistakes and don't like feel a certain way about it. Most people have been, you know, reduced to nothing because they dwelled, they dwelled on their they dwelled on their mistakes. People have fallen off. People have given up because of their mistakes. Beloved, the enemies have been trying to paint your mistakes right in your face. That's what I kept hearing or I kept perceiving in the spirit. The enemy have been trying to, to, to publish your mistakes in your face, to paint your mistakes in your face so that you get to feel bad about it and judge yourself and giving up on things that really matter to you. You are doing well, beloved, and mistakes Making mistakes is part of the process, but the enemy wants to have you thinking that as a human, you're not supposed to make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you should just, you know, ruin yourself or giving up on everything or just abandoning. But the Lord is saying that, please, no matter the mistakes that you've made in this season, as the enemy is going to be trying to paste these mistakes in your face, he's going to be making sure that you see the best of that situation, the best outcome of a situation. What the enemy meant for evil, beloved, God is turning that around for your good in this season. The enemy shall not have you to think otherwise of yourself because mistakes are part of the process. If you do not make mistakes, you cannot learn. Some people learn by making mistakes. And some of you have made mistakes. And it seems that this mistake is, they are rubbing this mistake in your face. They, they, they always they keep, they keep reminding you of the mistakes that you've made. Please don't allow that for any reason to break you. Do not be, 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 be broken by that mistake that they are painting in your face. They might have been calling you out because of your mistakes. They might have been judging you because of your mistakes. They might have, they might have deprived you of things because of your mistakes. They might have been speaking some words against you because of your mistakes. But please, I don't know whomever that you are or wherever, or wherever that you are at this point in time. Please don't allow that mistake to ruin your life. Pick up the look at the mistake and and recreate something out of it. As I was speaking to this moment, God's giving you inspiration. God's giving you ideas on how to correct those mistakes that you've made. Glory be to God. It's better to make mistakes than not even trying at all. Some of you tried some things and you made mistakes. It was better that you tried and made those mistakes rather than just sitting and, and, and doing nothing. The enemy has been trying to paint those mistakes in your face. But God is saying that you come in to encourage somebody and saying that, listen, God's going to be using foolish things to shame the wise. God's about to use those mistakes to recreate something better in your life. Some people that, some people that made mistakes in the past have actually become the best version of, of themselves at this point in time. If you, if you do not make these mistakes now, how, how do you how are you going to become the best version of yourself in the future? It's better to make the mistakes now and correct yourself in the future, future to be able to correct others. So whatever it is that they are painting in front of you, or whatever it is that is really like really looking so bad because of your mistakes, the Lord, God is now He's correcting your situation. Did you make mistakes in your business? God is correcting that. Did you make mistakes in your marriage? God is correcting that. Did you make mistakes in your ministry? God is correcting that. Did you make mistakes in whatever in whatever thing that you've made mistakes in? At this point in time, God is says God is saying that He's in the business of correcting your mistakes. 
He's in the business of correcting your mistakes and you'll be so happy that, in fact, you made the mistakes and attracted the attention of God. You made mistakes and attracted the attention of people. Those who have gone viral, those who are well recognized, those who perhaps made mistakes in the past and they were recognized for those mistakes and now they are doing so well. Do not, do not allow the mistakes to, to ruin you. Do not judge yourself because of the mistake that you've made. We all err in one way or the other. No one is perfect. We are all imperfect beings. But walking towards perfection in all things. Those who mock you not right now because you make mis because you've made mistakes are ignorant because they have made mistakes also in one way or the other. Just that those mistakes are not being painted in their faces. And so they, they think that because no one recognizes their mistakes, they are they are free or they are good or they are e effective or efficient or authentic. No. But thank God that your mistakes was being recognized by the world and they called your attention to it. But as they called your attention to, 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 to those mistakes, the wicked ones always try to look for ways on how to hold you by those mistakes, judge you by those mistakes, and having you feeling down on yourself. That's the world for you, beloved. But all in all, the Lord is not, do not allow those mistakes to define you at this point in time. For if you were called because you made mistakes, Thank God, because at least so, someone recognized that you were doing something better, something great. And they literally wanted to improve on yourself. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. The enemy had really wanted you to be disgraced. Public disgrace. Wanted a public disgrace for you. And they've really been talking about it and in, 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 in making reference. But you know what? What the enemy meant for evil... God is something that are run for your good. All things are working together for those who love God. All things are working together. Things are turning around for your good. I can see everything turning around for your good, beloved. Everything is turning around for your good. Genesis 50 verse 20 says, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done. The saving of many lives. Because of your mistakes, a lot of people have been saved. The enemy wanted to use your mistakes to ruin you, to harm you. But God has turned that mistakes around. God has turned the mistakes around to glorify himself. And winning many to, him, to, to himself. And saving souls to, to himself. And teaching others. Because of your mistakes, people have learned because of your mistakes, people have learned to be loved. That is a the truth about it. They might not come to tell that because of your mistakes, they've learned something. Or because of your, your mistakes, they've, they've been saved. But that is what is going on. That's what I'm telling you what's happening right now. That the, the mistake that the mistake that you made and you were caught out for those mistakes. Beloved, it, it, was, a, it was a great thing because those mistakes have, have, turned, have changed people. Perhaps people were going towards a certain direction, but because of the mistake that you made, God used you. God used you as an, as an example. It, it's, 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 it, it's, it's, like, it's like it's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate situation, but in the spirit, it was a fortunate situation that God did for you by allowing your mistakes to show so that those so that others might learn and adjust themselves in whatever that they are doing or wherever they are going to, whatever. God just used you, perhaps in past season or in present season, to correct some things that have been going on in the world. That people were just like, it's just like it was a normal. Yes, it was, it was a new normal or whatever. But at this point in time, right now, the Lord is not even though it feels so bad because you've been called, your mistakes have been called out or it's in a certain way, it, it, it doesn't, you, you, you missed it. Listen, beloved. Some people have been caught, you know, publicly. And some people might, might have been caught in their families or in their organizations. The, you, some of you, have, you, you have been caught, some people have been caught out for their mistakes in one way or the other. But all in all, no mistake, no, no calling out of mistake is really, really is, is small or is like, 
it can be underestimated because you feel what you feel when you are being called out for your mistakes. Sometimes it really feels you see you now see that wow. But the Lord is saying that do not allow your mistakes to ruin you at this point in time. Pick up the pieces and move. Forgive yourself. You are a great example. Glory be to God. And you're going to be doing better. And even now you are doing better. Because of this, things are turning around for your good. Things are turning around for your good. You're going to be having, you're going to be having more opportunities coming towards you. You're going to be having more people contacting you. You're going to be, you're going to be having things working out just well for you because of the, the because of this little mistake that you've made. You've got no idea how people have been people are, 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 are you know following up your situation. You have no idea how your your situation has been able to to set others free. You are a great person. Rejoice in the Lord at this point in time. Rejoice in the Lord at this point in time. All things are working together for you. They have been trying to paint your mistakes in your face. I mean the wicked ones. That they were so happy that you were caught out or that you were being attacked or whatever. They were really so happy. But God is not a, is God loves you regardless. And He's saying that things are changing. It, it you, perhaps some of you needed that 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 mistake to take place. For you to have this advancement, elevation that is already in the atmosphere right now for you. Glory be to God. The Lord is saying that please stay, stay calm, you know, love yourself. We are all imperfect beings, striving towards perfection. Let nothing move you. Rejoice because things are changing for the better for you. What enemy meant for evil, God, is, God meant it for good. Hallelujah. He had wanted to disgrace you, but God is giving you double honor. They wanted to they wanted to discard you, to having you feeling a certain way, to having you, you know, giving up on yourself or on things that really matter. But watch how you are coming out gloriously because of what happens. Glory be to God. Our God is faithful. He doesn't abandon His own. He doesn't abandon His own. He takes whatever that they had, this, that they had, you know, um, destroyed, and and mold refined i mean restructure and then present this against the world so all in all god said that you are coming out different in this season after the mistake that you've made you are coming out with great experience you are coming out with boldness with strength you are coming out with with i mean looking be, and, be, and being so authentic in all your ways god bless you god bless you yes what an enemy today for evil God intended it for good. He's turning things around for your good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. And see you in the next. In the next. In the next video. Hallelujah. Someone is coming out of a situation gloriously and even, you know, achieving greater heights. See you in the next video. Hallelujah.